Hey guys, um, what's up on YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to make the video tutorial for the name deck. Um, someone liked it, and I said if anyone likes it, I will make a tutorial for it. Someone liked it, so that's cool, thank you, I appreciate it, man. So whoever liked it, if it's a chick, sorry I called you dude, but whoever liked it, um, this is for you. So, let's just get started. So like I said, first off you need is just a normal deck of playing cards. But actually, the deck, as you've seen in performance, is not normal. They will have something like a name written on them. Well, this deck, it's a little difficult. It is. It's uh, It's all up in the mind. But uh, I'll show you guys what to do. Now, I've studied this trick so much that I actually know all the names and all the cards in the deck. So, you probably, it's going to take you a while to do it. It took me a while. But I'll show you guys exactly how I do it and how to do it. So, first off, you need is a normal deck, 54 playing cards, and you need to write a name on the back of the cards. Now, I wrote all female names because it's kind of weird to have a guy, in my opinion, write a guy on like the names on the deck. So, I'm going to show you guys how the easiest way to memorize the deck and the names. I went from A all the way to D. And what I did was I used actually the most common girl names. Like, I went on Google and typed in the most common girl names. That's, like, no shit what I did. And it pulled all these names up, like, Abby and Casey and Lucy and all that. So, what I did was, I got a piece of paper. And I wrote all of the names on a card. So, for, like, the Ace Clubs is Abby, you know, like, the three of... Aids or whatever is like freaking like I don't know like birth Beth I don't know Beth yeah it's Beth but what you do is you name you get all these cards I put A through D because I know A is the Ace of Clubs B's are the Spades uh um uh, sorry the C's are the Hearts and then the Diamonds is obviously D's the D's are the easiest because Diamonds D's but what you do is you just write the names next to every single card and I know it's difficult and sounds difficult it is difficult but if you want to know the easiest way to perform this trick possibly for maybe say an audience you can um, force cards if you know how to force cards um, you can force cards that maybe you remembered in your mind you know you could force on like for example the number first card I ever memorized was the ten of hearts and how I remembered the Ten of Hearts was I actually wrote it on the back of the deck. Because there's Ten of Hearts, and as you can tell on the back of this card, I wrote Casey. And then, and then obviously it's Ten of Hearts. So what I would do is I'd be like, okay. I'd ask someone, be like, hey, you want to see a cool little mentalism trick? And they're like, okay. And I'll be like, so maybe we can make an elimination process, all right? This will work no matter what, as long as you sell it out. But don't make it obvious, and I'll tell you how to do it. So, like, how I perform it, I'd be like... So let's do. A, let me do a mental mission. She's like, okay. I'd be like, do you know your suit's really good? And she goes, kinda. You can be like, okay. Well, um, I'm gonna keep some and eliminate some. All right. So spades, clubs, hearts, or diamonds. And she goes, maybe say clubs. You go, let's eliminate that. So I just spades, diamonds, and hearts. Which one now? Hearts. She goes, we'll keep that. Let's keep it. And I go, even or odd. Even. Keep it. Go ahead. Name any even card. Go for it. Eight of hearts. Hmm. Let's just delete it. Okay? Go for it. Maybe the two of hearts. Ah, delete it. Maybe say she finally goes up to ten of hearts and say, hmm, let's keep it. Then you can ask her, be like, do you, did you ever know of a girl named Casey? And maybe she'll be like, maybe. And then you could be like, well, it's weird because I think you have a, a mental thought. And then she maybe she'll be like, huh? And then you can just go in the deck. And you can show her, you know, you can be like, well, Casey has a special place on the deck. As you can tell, Casey is a ten of hearts. But this is how you sell it. You gotta find your own special ways. Um, another easy way to do it, um, to perform it, if you, maybe if you can't memorize all the cards in the deck, you can just tell your spectator to actually, like for, for example, you get a piece of paper and write a name down for the Abby. We'll just use Abby. And then you could force it on them. You know, you could find a way, you know, be like, hey, call stop. Never show them the back, obviously, but tell them to call stop. So they call stop, you say, memorize this card. And you know, it's Abby, Ace of Clubs. You don't tell them that, and you go, 
I bet you stopped me at Abby. And they're like, what? And you say, well, a card's of a name. And this one has Abby. And you can just be like, hmm, Ace of Clubs, you know? But you can, like, write it down on a piece of paper. You know, it's, uh, it's just whatever. But it's just how you sell it. But that's all you do. You write all 54 cards down, including the, both the Jokers. And you just write the names and the study. What I recommend doing is the D's actually write the D's down. Because most of the time, if you keep it, because, like, what I did was I just kept them all in order. Ace through, uh, diamonds, you know, ace through king. All the way, club, ace through king, spades, all that. And I just memorized all the D's first. I did. I memorized all the D's. And, uh, you can perform it that way. So, I'm sorry, guys. I know this trick is very complicated. But I promise you, if you study this trick, it has, it has some amazing, amazing reactions. So, uh, yep, that includes this tutorial. But tomorrow... You guys can be looking at, I'll teach you guys two easy tricks. I'm going to teach you guys the one-handed Charlie A cut and a mentalism trick, alright? So, take it easy, guys.